internet believe it or not I've been trying to do a daily vlog for the last two weeks but every time I come to do that and to go to the camera I sound like a robot Friday morning it is still raining <laughs> so my plan is is Tuesday today is Saturday um, um, which is pretty annoying so I don't know how to solve that other than to keep talking to the camera so I don't know how many takes this is but I'm going to try and persevere and hopefully this will make the internet and you will be able to see what I actually get up to so maybe this is the one uh, that would be great. Erxris? Exris? Maybe? Exris? Anyway, as you can see behind me is an X that I've been working on. This is just a personal project where I've been doing um, illustrated letters. I want to get better at doing lettering and been super inspired by this book written by Jessica Hitch. So that's what I'm working on during my time that I have between um, client work. I'm hoping that I will be able to continue with it and actually finish it. I'm actually, you're probably thinking, oh wow, you've almost got to the end of the alphabet. No, <laughs> I'm working backwards. Yay. So um, I've done Z, Y, and this is X. I like the character that I've got here. Um, but I feel like I want to add some pattern behind him so I'm gonna do that and hopefully we'll have some progress and you might be able to see it this time you might actually be able to see them you know I've done quite a lot of filming of doing work over the last two weeks but I just cannot seem to post it so you might see this you might not It is quite a cool little tip if you're playing with patterns in Illustrator. You basically click on, right click on your pattern here. So you can see my little white marks. It's a bit big to me. So you can right click on and you go down to transform and scale and it brings up this pop-up box. And then if you go up here, make sure you put preview on. And I like take it down to maybe 95. Okay, and make sure I've got transform, transform patterns. And can you see it's just made it suddenly a bit. Oh, I don't want to transform objects. Yeah, so you just have transform patterns and it's made the pattern slightly smaller, which is really cool. markers um, so I've been waiting for some time now to be able to use these and actually have a little play with them 
and I've managed to make something with them that resembles something more than just a child scribble. Mm. Um, I've managed to make a feather. So here it is, and these are the colours that I used. So I think it was like a cotton pool, and then we had a sand, sand colour, then a brown, although it kind of looks more like an, an orangey brown, and then a dark brown. Another brown, I think. Yeah. Anyway, look. It's kind of cool, isn't it? Putting this up here is really helpful because you basically start from the lightest and then make your way along as you go until you've done all of them. And then to blend, you basically go back to your lightest colour and then go over these colours and they really blend well together. So that's um yeah i'm pretty chuffed with that um oh yeah and the outline i did with what is this called a crow's pen i think and i used this magic color this is like liquid acrylic and it dries permanent so it doesn't run and um has really good coverage so it's not going to kind of fade but um, I wanted to use a brown ink to for the outline just to make it so well with that kind of color palette I thought black would be too harsh so I'm quite pleased with that I am going to now try and do some more feathers so watch this space I am working on the vlog, which means it will go live. Here, I'm just writing the titles now as I go through the vlog. Um, so hopefully I've just got to uh, scan those in, get them on, and then we will be good to go and I can publish this. So if you want to uh, follow along, please hit subscribe and you may get another vlog after this.